Dwarf Fink's tutorial. Doc! Doc! What are you talking about? <laughs> so, skating in the house. That's not allowed. Just like playing ball. <laughs> okay, so, now that we're here and settled, let's get to it. Shall we? We shall. So, a lot of you, maybe, are wondering about the Master Pyramorphinx slash Master Morphinx slash Master Pyramorphix slash Master Polymorphix slash Master Polymorphinx whatever you want to call it just like I said in um, Massive Review Part 8 if you watched the Massive Review series so we're gonna get down to it it's not really gonna be a tutorial so it's not a tutorial, but more than a walkthrough, because I'll teach you a little bit. I'll tell you something, a little something about this toy that you may not know. I don't know, maybe. Um, so it's, I guess, a walkthrough tutorial, maybe. All right. Um, so we're just going to switch angles, and we'll get started. <laughs> we pretty much need to keep that light off. We pretty much have the same types of pieces as on a 3x3 cube. We have center pieces, which are these. They have two colors, like edges on a cube. Edges, like these, they have one color, like the uh, edges that have two colors on a cube, like the centers on a cube. And then we have two different kinds of corners. <laughs> We've got these little triangle corners, which is one color and these corners which have three colors like on a regular cube okay uh, here's a cube this is an F2 for all, all of those who don't know uh, this has cube smith stickers other than yellow and orange which are cube for you stickers because I didn't have any more cube smith in that color now anyway uh, pretty much we're gonna do the same thing like we would on three by three. Um, first, uh, we're pretty much going to build a cross like we would normally. Just like this. We're going to build a cross on this. Okay? Uh, so that's the first step, and I'll show you how to do it. First, you're going to pick which center you want to start with, and I always start with blue and green. So I'm going to find the blue and green center, which is here. You're going to pretty much just put the four pieces in, the two greens and the two blues are going to go here. I've already got one piece solved, so I'm going to find another green, which there's one right here. So I'm going to bring this over, okay, and I'm just going to solve this green edge. I'm going to try to make it to where you can see the best I can. Okay, so that's two edges solved. That's half my cross. Now we're going to do the blue side. Uh, we need the two blue edges, which there is one here, but it's facing the wrong way. So I can maybe use it for this side. Now remember, this really isn't a tutorial, it's more of a walk-through solve. Just so you can get an idea of how to solve it in, if you don't know. And I'm trying to bring this up. Here we go. So there's my blue edge. And I need one more, which is right here, conveniently enough. So I'm just going to bring this up. Wait a minute. And I hate how other layers turn as you're trying to turn something. Pretty much just bring it up like that. Okay, there's my cross. Next, uh, okay, next we're going to fix our centers. Now, this is one thing you don't have to do on a 3x3. Three three. So, you see here we have two centers with blue. We're going to find the, the cross colors. Two centers that have blue, one right here, one right here, and two centers over here that have green. These two. That's green right there. So we want to line this cross 
here up with the, the centers pretty much. Uh, so I'm going to bring the two blues over to the side that has the centers with the two blues. Now this side has the greens. Okay, now you'll see that this lines up nicely with the center and this does not. This center is, needs to be twisted and how we do that is we're going to bring this up twice, move the edge over, and now we're going to turn the center piece like this so that when we bring the edge back it matches up with it and then we'll bring it back down into the cross. Now both the centers are flush with the both centers are flush with the uh, edges. Now we'll come over here to the green side. This center seems to be okay. This one needs to be turned. So we'll do the same thing. We'll bring this up twice. Move the edge over. Move the edge over. Like so. And we're going to twist this until we get it to that point. You pretty much want the color that you need the furthest away from you. And then you just bring the edge back over. Okay, and you just put it back down onto the cross. Now just like on a 3x3 cube, we're going to do F2L in the same exact way. Okay, we're going to match the corners up to the edges and put them right in. We'll use the same exact cases as we do on a 3x3 for the most part. So we'll find the blue, green, orange corner, which happens to be right here. And since orange is the color that's above the corner, we're going to match orange on the corner to the orange edge. Okay, so since these are connected, these pieces here, I'm going to use this orange edge back here since that's probably going to be easier for me to connect it to this. Okay, um, actually it's not. I'm going to just bring this down so I can separate these and separate them and I'll now I've got the edge here and the corner here I'm just going to go back cat, uh, I guess capture the edge and bring both pieces down like that that's what it's gonna look like okay now we're gonna do the same thing for the other side we're gonna get the blue green yellow corner which is up back here so we're going to bring it over and see what the situation is all right we need this yellow to be matching here so we're going to do the kind of the same thing i guess um we'll use the empty slot to separate the pieces and now well hold on here okay what we have here, let me undo that. Um, this situation, as on the 3x3, three three, would be... This case, I believe. It's it's kind of hard to determine which case you have. Um, it would be this case where I would come out like this. If I could get the fucking thing to move, then I would bring this back over. And now... Oops, I need this to come back one more time. Okay. What the fuck am I doing? Oh, I see what it is. Alright. This is pretty much the, the same case as where you would have two F2L pieces with the same color on top. You would need to hide the corner back here. Bring the edge over behind it like this and then bring the corner back up so the yellows are matching and then we would bring the pair around and it's going to go in here so we'll just lift the slot and put it in like normal okay so there's our second slot filled now we're going to do the small corner slots this corner is already solved so we just need the edge to go along with it which is right here so we're going to pretty much do the same thing as we would do on the 3x3. Three three. We match them up and put the pair in. 
okay? And the same thing for the other side. We need the greens. The greens. Now here's a situation. This is like the opposite colors on top. Where we have the edge back here, the corners here. We just go L prime, U prime, and then L to solve it. Now the last layer. The last layer is kind of a bitch with this puzzle. I never really know exactly what I'm doing uh, until I get to a certain point. Then I kind of know. So what I do basically is I see what ca what what's going on up here, and I pretty much just do a soon just to kind of move the pieces around until I get to a point where I know what I'm doing. Uh, okay, I've not really figured out a way to do OLL and PLL for this yet. Although I have tried the T perm and the J perm, it just never works. Alright, this might be a case that I can use. This is a little bit better. Okay, so now I've got this situation where this piece is solved, this piece is solved, but these two are switched and flipped. So what I do here is I come over here behind this piece and I do the F R U blah 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 fucking algorithm. Like you're building the cross on top the 3x3. Three three. And that pretty much solves the, cr the cross on the top. And now we're going to do a bunch of beginner's method algorithms. Uh, this corner is the solved corner. So we're going to do the Nicholas. Just to switch the corners around. And now all the corners are in their right spots. We just have to orient this one. So we're going to do this crappy algorithm. <clears throat> and now it's oriented, but we still have a problem because this one of these corners is unoriented, so we're just going to mess with that until it's back to normal which will be like four more times here and we just do this over and over again now it's solved and that is how I solve the master polymorphics